If you need to make a three molar solution of hydrochloric acid, there are a few ways to do it. So let's take a look at that. First, we could actually just get a recipe that tells us how to do that. Often it'll come when you buy concentrated hydrochloric acid, there'll be a recipe on how to make different molarities, or you can find it on the web. Let's take a look at that. So this is from Flynn Scientific, and actually there's a link to this in the description of this video, some helpful information on how to do it. Hydrochloric acid right here, we want to make a three molar solution. So a three molar solution, that means that we're going to put 250 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid into one liter of water. So you get your volumetric flask, you add water, you start adding your hydrochloric acid, you add 250 milliliters of that, and then you fill it up with water to the one liter mark. And you do it slowly because it's an exothermic reaction. So that's one way. If you want to make three molar hydrochloric acid solution, you can follow the recipe. Another way to do that is this. We can use this equation here to figure it out as well, because we know when we look at the bottle, it's 12 molar concentrated. If you're starting with concentrated hydrochloric acid, it's going to be 12 molar. You multiply that by V1. That's how much we need to add to our volumetric flask. And then we wanted to make a three molar solution. And let's just say we want to make 500 milliliters of that. So we divide both sides by 12 molar here to get V1 by itself. Those cancel out. We have molars here and here. Cancel that out. So 3 times 500 divided by 12, V1 equals 125 milliliters. Our units are milliliters since we have, that's all that's left here. You could also use a stock solution. So if you had a 6 molar solution of hydrochloric acid, you could use this equation again. Instead of 12 molar, you'd put 6 molar in and you could figure out how much you need to make your 3 molar hydrochloric acid solution. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.